But first, we do want to get back to our team coverage. We continue now with community activists and city leaders both coming together for a forum. CBS 46's Adam Murphy, he's live in Atlanta with Atlanta native and rapper and activist T.I. Adam? Hey, Tracy, how are you? Yeah, this is a very important event, and we're at the Gathering Spot, real cool event space here in Atlanta, and a familiar face right here, T.I., Grammy winner. He actually was instrumental in putting on this political forum, talking about the important race of Fulton County District Attorney, and obviously we had the incumbent, Paul Howard, here, plus a couple other candidates. What was your thought about the event and what you heard today? Uh, well, first of all, uh, the, the intent for the event was to familiarize the community with the candidates. We have a very important election. The, the primaries are coming up next Tuesday, uh, June 9th, I believe it is, and especially with, you know, the pandemic and people not necessarily being able to get out, campaign, move around and reach the people. Uh, I felt that it would, it would behoove the candidates and the community to be able to come in and get a feel for each other. Yeah, and you had uh, Paul Howard, the current DA, Christian Wise Smith, and Fawny Willis. Yeah. Those are the three going for this position. One of the things that came up, and I want to get your take on this real quick, the charges that Paul Howard brought against the Atlanta police officers over the last couple of days involved in a teasing event at one of these protests. These were college students. I know the candidates that would like to have this seat are saying it was politically motivated. And Paul Howard says otherwise, he doesn't believe that's the case. What are your thoughts about this? I mean, well, whether it was politically motivated or not, I think this is the right thing to do. Those officers acted egregiously, and uh, those students deserve justice. And I think that in a place like Atlanta, uh, which I have gone on record as saying, this is different, and we have a different political process. Uh, so I think that to, to be first and fast, I think, is, is what we need to do to set the example for the rest of the nation. Um, I mean, I don't know what his motivations were. Hopefully, just, you know, uh, taking him at his word, he was motivated by doing the right thing. Of course, the other candidates have some, something else to say about that, but, you know what I'm saying, they'll, they'll battle that out at the ballots. What change needs to happen between police officers and the black community? Obviously, this is a very important discussion. Well, first of all, wait a minute, what change needs to happen? First of all, they need to stop killing people unjustly okay so that's the first thing that need to happen okay uh there are that question is difficult because what we have is um a multi-layered a very diverse problem so that is going to take a very diverse approach uh, but the first thing is yeah, they just need to stop killing them that's the first thing um i think that there's a disconnect between the officers that patrol the communities um, and 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 the, the the community members. I think that if there was a residence plan where the officers who patrol the community had to live within this community for a certain amount of time, uh, I think that that would uh, definitely increase the 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 able to re the ability to relate. Uh, I spoke with the mayor's office about this, and I think you know we're going to work towards it in the future. But that's just that's just one thing. We have so many issues. We have so many issues, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and Atlanta's not perfect, but I feel like we are the example for the rest of the nation. Atlanta's own TI, you have a very big voice, very important voice in this community. We appreciate you pulling events like this together so we can have these dialogues. It's cool. Thank you so much right for joining appreciate us you on for coming. CBS 46 you, Live. Man. We'll have much more uh, from this location and this important election, which is coming up on Tuesday for the Fulton County DA. Live in Atlanta, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.